Now, ultimately for me, this is what an SSRI or an antidepressant is doing for your mind. All it's doing is holding everything together. So going back to my metaphor earlier about the leg, if you don't do physio, then all that's happening is, is that everything's being held in place, but nothing's actually getting stronger or better. The thoughts that you've had in your head that have caused you to feel down, depressed, whatever it is uh, originally, are still there. You're still feeling sad about the thing that's happened, the thing that's happening, or the thing that might never happen out there. If you watch our video on what is depression, then you'll find me talking about this. Now, actually, what depression is, is a like you've lost the light at the end of the tunnel. So that you look out and at the end of the tunnel, and there's nothing there. And that just puts you into this big thing of, I call it a big attack of the why bothers. Like, why bother? Why, why should I? Like, why put all that effort into changing if all that's going to happen is crap is going to happen? If you've not watched that What Is Depression video, then please do. There's an amazing story in there about a study that's a bit funny uh, that was done in the 1970s about learned helplessness. But this is where these things come from. The thing about all of these things is that they're thought-based. They're happening inside your head. If you've watched anything that we've done so far, you'll understand that we understand that mental health is an inside-out process, not an outside-in process. And therefore, sometimes medication, what it does is it can steady the ship, but you have to be dealing with what's inside your head. What I therefore call that is physiotherapy for the mind. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that you go for some therapy. If you're worried about going for therapy, again, I know I keep pointing you to other videos, but mental health is something that you have to study before you do it. We've got an amazing video on what are all the different types of therapy that you can go for. Well, I'll take you through each one, tell you the pros and cons, because not all therapy is the same. So if you're sitting here going, but I've tried therapy, it didn't work. You've not tried them all. And even then, I think I only cover five or six of them. And there's so many any more different types of therapy, you just have to find the one that works.